Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to talk about in this video is a basic primer and some of the basic things that you should think about when you are deploying a phone system. So uh, we've got this basic set of things that we do, and we've implemented some new things in the last year or so to help us with this. But I just wanted to go over this with you because I get this question a lot like, hey, how do you even plan out a phone system? Well, these are basic things that you've got to know to, uh, to get your phone system planned out properly. So let's take a look. I call this designing a phone system the basics. And you're probably saying, well, why, uh, why do you think that you have, you know, any knowledge and you're able to do this? Well, because over the last few years, since 2018, my team and I have deployed over 7,500 brand new Grandstream handsets and over 100 brand new uh, UCMs since 2019. And that doesn't count all the people who have had someone else deploy their Grandstream system or companies that have deployed their, their own Grandstream system and then need us to help to come in, fix some issues. And we're always learning things and we're always adding to the toolkit. So this is always evolving. You know, these things that you're looking out for, red flags, green flags, checkered flags. But these basics will get the ball rolling. So the first thing that we always talk about is how many extensions is the customer going to have? And not only that, are all of the extensions in one location? Are they all physical phones versus soft phones? Do we have conference phones? Are we going to use call queues or a call center setup? Is this an MDU or a hotel setup? Very important things that you need to flesh out in the beginning. The next thing that we need to be concerned with is what types of service does the customer have? So uh, we are I'm waiting for some clarification from someone and we are quoting uh, somebody who has E1s. And if you don't know, that is the European version of a T1. So we have to have special hardware for that, right? So does the customer have PRIs, E1s, T1s, SIP, POTS line, plain old telephone service, carrier pigeons, right? Then you also need to know what's the existing phone system and, you know, do they still use faxing and how do they use faxing? Then you need to know, does the customer want video calling? There's a whole set of considerations that go with video calling. One of the next things you need to look at is paging. Do they need paging groups, multicast paging? Is there special paging hardware? We've run into all these and it's things that you have to think about. The other thing that you have to think about is, you know, PBX's phone systems are integrated with so many things these days and everything is converged. Are there door stations? Are there cameras? Is there remote access to the door stations to the cameras? Are we integrating this with other PBXs? These are all things that you have to know. Other considerations that are super important, super important, emergency calling. And there are a lot of things that go into emergency calling. So if your consultant is not talking to you about emergency calling and about how to set that up and asking you square footage of the buildings and room numbers and are you all in one place, like all of those things. And, oh, if somebody's using a soft phone, how are we going to handle 911? Like if they're not talking to you about that stuff, you need to be thinking about it, right? Because at the end of the day, if you're taking charge of that phone system, you're kind of responsible for that. And then the other thing that you've got to talk about is network readiness. And this is one of the things that we started implementing uh, last year was a network readiness uh, toolkit because you see a lot of networks that want to put big VoIP systems and they're just not ready. And I'm going to be releasing another video this week about static IPs and there's be another video about right sizing your networks. And this goes hand in hand with that. So that should just scratch the surface, should get you thinking. I'm sure that people are going to say, well, you left this out, you left that. Out. Well, maybe that's not in the basics. Maybe that's the next tier, right? So I'm obviously not going to sit here and give you a 15-hour uh, video about exactly all the nuts and bolts that go into how we deploy that system. Now, if you engage with us or you take training with us, you do get some of that. But I want to thank you for watching this video. You can reach out 
reach out to me directly. You can go to the website. Um, I do want to thank uh, Slides Go for providing this template. I thought it was a really cool template when I saw it. So um, if you need help with your voice over IP, with your network, with your technology, you can reach out at willyhow.com. Click hire us or contact us, fill that information out, and someone will be with you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. And if you had someone else deploy your grand stream system or your VoIP system in general, and you've got some questions about whether it's doing things it's supposed to, reach out. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with the link to hire us or just reach out and all of our affiliate links and Patreon link. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.